Hello, everybody. How are you today? Welcome back with another video from Brooklyn Babe 66. I didn't get with you all this morning for a morning motivation because I want to come back with something different today. I'm going to do a shoe haul. It's just some shoes I got over the holiday, a pair I got for my birthday. You know, if my video don't run out, I'll show you maybe a pocketbook or two, a wallet. But I want to come back and show you all some of the styles that I wear. Okay, a lot of people don't understand my style until they see it on. You might see it in a magazine and be like, uh-uh, that is not my style. But when I put it together, I get so many compliments on my clothing. And when my daughter was younger, she won best dress like three years in a row. You know, because I dress, you know, I'm from New York, so that might have a lot to do with it too, as well as, well as my mother and my father. They dress really, really nice. So with that being said, I'm going to start. I'm going to start off with my birthday boot that was given to me in October. My mom bought me this boot because I like, I like weird things, but I know how to put it together, okay? So use your imagination. None of us are the same. None of us are the same. None of us dress the same. None of us have the same taste. So remember that in mind when you're decorating and when you're buying items for your wardrobe. You know, remember, people are different, you know? So this is a birthday boot I, like, I got, and I love this boot. Look at this boot. It's rainbow. It's a go-go boot, but look at that boot. So what I will do is awesome. Of course, I have the left one, but I'm just going to show the right one. Look, it has purple, red, green, blue, orange, yellow in this boot. So what I would do is pull out one color, red. I would wear a red top and some red pants. Put them, the pants down in the boot, and then this would be the focal point. This would be the focal point. You don't want to wear all these different colors. You want to let the eyes be on the shoe, okay? I have over 300 pairs of shoes and boots and sneakers and things like that, ranging in different prices. You know what I'm saying? Summer shoes, sneakers, boots. You know, I have all kinds of shoes. I love shoes. I've always loved shoes. I love fashion. I love jewelry, eyelashes. I get my nails you know, done. I just love jewelry. I love shoes. I love clothes. I love home decor. I love all that. And I love Jesus. I love, I love, I love. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. So this boot here, and it just zips down all the way. It zips down white on the inside. The heel is not too high, but isn't that a beautiful boot? That's beautiful. You don't have to, they call these stripper boots. Strippers just wear go-go boots. These are go-go boots. You can wear go-go boots with anything you want to wear. You're not a stripper. Dress it up tastefully. It's beautiful. Look at that shoe. Look at that boot. Look at the colors in it. It's magnificent. Look like a rainbow of Skittles. I love this shoe. I love it. Okay? So that's number one. Number two are some booties that my daughter bought me for Christmas. Okay? Because, again, I like... Things that somebody else won't wear, okay? Look at these boots. They are gorgeous. I haven't worn them yet. Look at them. Look at them, how they sparkle. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, God. Look at the pearls on the side and the lace and the bow. And then it has the blinged out heel. Has the blinged out heel. So what I would do with this one I would get me a cream color sweater, a nice, loose, big, baggy sweater, and I would get me some leggings. Or remember the stirrups back in the day? And get me some cream color stirrups. And where the focal point could be on the shoe. On the shoe. See that? Look at that shoe. Look how it dances in the light. That's a beautiful booty. A lot of people don't want to try this. Try it. It's awesome. I love it. Okay, so we're, we're going to make it quick because I don't want my time to run out. My mother bought me these boots here over the holiday. They're snake skin. Okay, look at that. I like ankle boots too. I have boots that go over the knee and to the knee and everything, but I love ankle boots. Look at this boot. Look at the heel. And I probably will wear this with all black. Maybe some black pants. Or a black midi skirt with some black tights and a black nice sweater or a blazer. You know? Look at that. 
That boot is gorgeous. I love this shoe. I love it. Look at it. That is gorgeous. That's a snake print. Okay. I think the reason why I have so many shoes, I love shoes. I have over 300 pairs. But I remember being young in the eighth grade, and I wanted a pair of shoes. They were suede burgundy, and they had a white heel on, a white, like a sneaker, and it would look like a marshmallow. The color. My mother gave me the money to go to Pickin Avenue in Brooklyn to buy this shoe. When I got to the store, they didn't have my size. My size was probably a size 8. They had probably a size 7. So I tried it on, the man measured me, I tried the shoe on, and it was too tight, of course. I shoved my foot in that shoe, and my foot was like this, okay? He was like, little girl, don't get this shoe, you know, and I couldn't find him in no other store. Honey, I bought that shoe anyway, because I had to have it. Warm home, so I couldn't take them back. My foot started busting out of it like the next day. The seam in the back started ripping apart. I had to wear those shoes until my mother bought me another pair within like another week or so. But I was in excruciating pain. I didn't tell my mother they was busting for one thing and that they was too small. The size of my feet was throbbing. I was in agony. Oh, my God. I had to have that shoe. I've always been obsessed with shoes. I love shoes. But I do wear them all. I wear every last one of my shoes. You know, and when my daughter was in school, she won best dress because... I dressed her differently from everybody. I, I put things on her that nobody else would wear. I put it together. You know what I'm saying? And growing up in New York helped. And then my mother dressed really nice. And my father, who's deceased, he dressed really, really nice. They look like models. So I got that. It's inheritance. And then my great-grandmother was a very, very, very snazzy dresser. You know? So it's, you can inherit things like that. So my mother bought me this boot here with a little kitten heel almost. A little higher than the kitten heel. Just a black little boot. It's nice. I love it. It's real sleek. You know, and I will probably wear this with a with a multi. My phone is is pausing. With a multicolor pair of leggings and then black at the top. You know? Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna round this up. This shrimp colored ankle boot. Beautiful. It's suede. Suede. Beautiful shoe. I probably would do this probably with all black. So if the shoe could be the focal point. I'm not going into where I bought these shoes because I can't remember. And I don't know where the gifts came from, so I can't remember. And I don't know the prices, but I did get some in Atlanta over the holidays. This one, you know. So that's a nice one. This is one of the ones I got that goes over the knee. Very nice. It zips here. And I probably would do this with maybe a navy blue or, you know, what have you. It ties in the back. Very sleek. Very nice. I'm already tall and it'll make my legs look longer. And I like that. I like my height. I used to want to be short, but no, not no more. I like my height. I like being tall. So I, I will wear these with one color. So I want the focal point to be on the shoe. Then I got these. I already wore these the first day back to work. Is that a like a? It's shaped up like a cowboy boot, but it's it's cut shorter. It comes right below the ankle. Okay, see the heels not too high. It's genuine leather, very comfortable shoe. Okay. And like I said, I have over three hundred pairs of shoes, but I do wear them all. I do. I wear them at least once a year, sometime or another. I give shoes away and I repurchase. And I did get more shoes than this over the holidays, but I'm not showing them all because it'll take too long. I also received this Michael Kors wallet as a Christmas present from my daughter. I love this wallet. I was wanting a wallet, a Michael Kors wallet, so she bought me the Michael Kors wallet. No money in it, but hey. I love it. Leopard print. See, I like things like Liberace and RuPaul. I like things that, that stands out. It can't be plain. I have to have something that's going to stand out. Then I got this Kate Spade wallet for a Christmas gift from my daughter and the matching pocketbook. Okay? Beautiful. I like really nice things. I like all kinds. I like, I like just nice things. Okay? I'm going to try to go quick. 
I did stop. I know where these came from at Walmart and got me some leggings. I'm going quick, y'all, because I don't want my time to run out. These are very soft. I got them in the juniors department. I can wear juniors, believe it or not. And they are beautiful. And I might would do that with these, maybe, or the black. You know, this, this got some black in it, so they can go with that one if I wanted to give it some color. You know, those are very nice. Then I have these. I love these. See those, and then I have these with the with the skeletons on them. Very nice, like a suede. They very nice. I love these. They have the skeletons and things on them. See, so I'm not gonna stay before you long. I hope you all enjoyed this little short shoe haul and pocketbook and leggings i hope you enjoyed it i know it was quick i know it was fast but it's after work i just got home not too long ago and i had some things that i would like to do before i actually got prepared to go to bed i bought me some chili and i bought me a salad from um wendy's and i'm going to eat that um i do have some more things that i want to haul and i want to show you all because i got some household items i got beautiful pictures so I want to show you all that. I got some candelabra, some candlesticks, you know. Um, and I do have some other shoes and things that I will come back and show you. But I wanted to come and show you this today because I thought they were just beautiful. You know, these two shoes right here are the shoe. I'm telling you what. You know, when I step out of these, oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? With the lace and the pearls and the bow. That is a beautiful little shoe. And the bling on the heel. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Look at that. And then look at this one. Look how awesome that shoe is. People. <laughs> I am glad I was born a weirdo. So nobody won't have to think that I'm... um. Just like uh, the brick on the on the brick machine, everybody the same brick. I'm different, honey, and I embrace it. And you all need to embrace it, too. You know, embrace it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't be different. Be you. Be unique. You know, be free. Do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do as long as it's legal and you're above age. Do what you want to do. Wear what you want to wear. You know, I like the leopard print. I have to have... I can't really have anything that's solid. I have to always have some kind of bling, you know? I have to. I have to wear, it has to be seen, you know? My lips, I have to be, I just like to walk in the room and be like, bam! You know, here I am. Love me or leave me, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I mean, that's just me. That's my personality, my great-grandmother was a really snazzy dresser. My mother and my father dressed nice, you know. I dressed my daughter to the hilt, you know. So, it, it just comes naturally. I think it's a gift, you know. I like to decorate. I like things like that, you know. I just love things like that. So, with, with that being said, I'm going to call it a night. And I'm going to put all these things away. I'm going to eat my supper. And I'll get back with you in the morning. But I may change things up. I know I said I was going to do morning motivations every morning. But I'm motivating you now. Women, take care of yourself. Do things for yourself. Buy yourself a pair of shoes or boots. Get your nails done. You know, get some lip gloss. Gentlemen, shave. Get a pedicure. Get a manicure, gentlemen. Take care of yourselves. I'm motivating you all. Christians, you are representing Jesus Christ. Take care of yourself. You know, if you're overweight, lose weight. You got to go to the dentist, go to the dentist. You know, do things for yourself. You're representing Jesus Christ. Okay? Sinners out there, that they take care of themselves, they be fly. So you are a child of God. Take care of yourself, okay? Love yourself and love each other. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow or whenever I come back because I am, like, all over the place. But y'all have a good night. I love you all. Bye.